Hey, I'm Alex and this is Finally Functional. If you're new here, I'm making VR shoes, shoes that let you play VR games and use your actual legs to walk around in the game. In the last video, I went over the first support rig that I made to try and use the VR shoes with. In this one, I'm going over the second. This rig is based off of like what physical therapy rigs look like. So I call it the physical therapy rig. But ever since making this video, I've also called it the Wedgenator and you'll see why. This is what I call the ratchet strap support rig. It's similar to a physical therapy support rig. For the straps, I'm using ratchet straps so I can have fine control over the amount of tension in them. So if I'm standing still like this and I have a little bit of slack in these lines, I have to go forward a little bit to get rid of the slack. So if I start walking, then I get to the end of the slack. So there's no resistance and then boom, and then there's resistance. So that's a little jarring. I find that if I, as I, as I start to go forward, if I lean forward first and go like this, then there's not as much of a jolt. So I, instead of going like this, and kind of getting pulled back like that. If I lean forward as I take my first step, then it's all right. So as I keep pulling, this thing keeps getting pulled up. That pulls up down here and yeah, uh, it's uncomfortable. It keeps pulling up against my inner thighs. I wish I could tighten these more so that the swinging wouldn't happen as much. But if I tighten them more, then this is all gonna get pulled up more and it's gonna get even more uncomfortable. And even if it was kind of comfy, it's still, you have all of that pressure pulling up on you. And I'm sure that if you would play this for a long time, you could lose circulation in certain spots and that would be a bad time. I can breathe just fine with this kind of V shape. I don't have, like with the last harness where it went across my chest horizontally like this, it was a little harder to breathe with this. I find it uh, completely fine. I have no trouble breathing so maybe this sort of chest harness or this way is just fine for breathing Going backwards is a little tricky. There's some swinging as you'll see. So I go backwards and I swing forward like that. So backwards and then I swing forward a little bit and that's a little bit hard to maintain my balance while that's happening. Even with this little demo, I keep having to pull down because it just gets uh, uncomfortable and then to uh, I can't crouch with this thing there is no crouching capability and if I do crouch it just pulls it right back up so maybe one way to support crouching if I could figure out a way to make this more comfortable one way to support crouching would be to add a joint here and a joint here so that these two arms these two pipes could bend down like this and there would be a problem if you do that where as you walk forward they would bend down and this whole slack problem, the whole jarring problem as you run forward and get pulled back would be even worse. So I think what you could do in that case is at the joint, you have a powerful spring. That spring would hold these in place, hold them horizontal if you are just walking forward like this. So not a lot of force is pulling on those springs. They can hold it in place. But if you put your whole body weight on it as you crouch, so use your whole body weight, then that would be enough to force those springs to bend. So they'd only bend while you're crouching. I tried arranging these straps in different ways. So right now the front part is hooked to this hook and then the back is hooked to wherever this one is right here. I also tried looping it around and hooking it to these side ones here. But when I did that, then uh, as I tightened it, it pulled up like this and pinched my sides. So that didn't feel really good and it just pulled the whole harness up on my back like this. So this thing was like kind of pull, uh, pushing into my back, digging into my back. So 
Yeah, I tried a few different ways to arrange these straps to maybe make it more comfortable. This is actually the most comfortable arrangement that I found. <laughs> so, yeah. The advantages of this support rig are that it's simple, doesn't have a lot of parts, doesn't take up a lot of room, as you can see. But the disadvantages are all those swinging problems where you get to the end of the slack, pulls you back, or you saw I was trying to walk backwards and I swung forwards, so all that swinging is a problem. And then as you uh, tighten it, it's uncomfortable on the hips and inner thighs and so on. Just not very comfy at all. And then there's no crouching support, but maybe crouching support could be added in if those other issues were resolved. So after making this rig, it became a big priority for me to completely eliminate as much play, as much swinging as possible. And I hope after watching this, it's clear why. Because I've gotten a lot of comments from people saying that I should make more kind of loose support rigs, but they would suffer from these problems and that's why I didn't do that. With these passive shoes, a rigid support rig is a top priority for me. With motorized ones, that's a different story. In the next video, I'll go over the support rig I made that I showed in my recent No Man's Skies demos. So I'll see you guys then.